So we are back again into this marvelous house. Also, first thing you need to do. Also, something that I noticed right now. Last time I played this, here was a poster of Oregon Trail. That monster's not even scary. And that's about a game, and that's kind of random with games. Sure, I'm here going to the toilet. Now I feel like a perv, to be honest. Oh, that sound effect. You know what I said? I feel like a perv by doing that. Now I feel more like perv. Get, damn woman, get back inside. Wash your hands. Another day in, another day in the life, I suppose. Take a shower, yes. And then I could take a bath as well. It's as you want it. Refreshing. Now it's time to, well. I have a fridge and a microwave here. Nice. I still got some of those pizza pouches left. You take. You took three pizza pouches. Cooking direction: place a microwave for two minutes. Let cool for thirty seconds. Sure. Beating the frozen. So, what's your microwave today? Yeah, those pizza pouches. How long should I set it for? Um. What the fuck, woman? I should have two numbers, but I'm just gonna go with three. I guess that sounds like three minutes. Waiting, waiting. You overcooked and burned a pizza pouch. Is it still eatable? Is my question. Okay. So three was too much, so let's go with one. Yeah, I'm learning how to cook pizza now. Your pizza pouch is still cold. Try again. How long should I set it for? Two. I should have sent again one because now I fear the repercussions of the pizza getting cooked too much. Your pizza pouch is ready to eat. Even though that looks more like a burrito to me. And I never eat a burrito, so that kind of tells you a lot. Pizza pouch. Two minutes. What's that say for? Two minutes. It said that in there. Two minutes. <laughs> yep. Your pizza pouch is ready to eat. Good job. Now let's see what's with these letters. Look, like there's a new like there's a few notes under my door. Oh, this is bad. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result of according to your le lease, this balance must be paid immediately or you will be evic evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid the work... Wait, I, I lost the, the line. Uh, immediately to avoid future actions. This is a serious matter and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney fees. Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with building management as soon as possible to avoid further issues. Sincerely, sincerely management. Two days overdue. Pay up, deadbeat. That's the note of the landlord. Because he's kind of a maniac. Up, oh, there it went. Oh well. It's always something, isn't it? Of course it is, Abby. Of course it is. Okay, come to see me if you wanted to get coffee before work at the Phoenix. Both you are asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouch for you and my manner has slack slackers, I guess. Hate slackers. Dark fit. Well, at least I got a job for today. You grab your apartment key. You got. You grabbed your bank card. This old lady is standing in front of us. In front of us. What is it? I know it's in here. Excuse me, Miss, whatever, they will line your old lady. Oh, pardon me, Abby. I'm in your way. I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There never is enough time today, you know. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Heck, 
I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your roommate? Things that uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. That's real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come to my place later today? I'm hosting a little get together tonight and the place needs to be spotless. It would be lovely to have some help. I'll think about it. I'll think about it, but I'm supposed to spend the day helping a friend. Maybe I'll come by if I have if I have the time for it afterwards. If you got plans, don't you worry about it. My doors will all will be open if you change your mind though. Have a good day, Abby. I hope you find what you need. Yeah, so do we. That's where she stands. You, interesting thing, you can help her clean up and at some point she'll give you her bank account. Then then you can steal money from you. Oh, cheap ass landlord. That lie's been a problem for months. Sound like the landlord's on the phone. I might be able to slip out of here undetected. Oh fuck. Oh that young you mangy punk. You really think I would've noticed you just because the lights are off? I had a clap on clap of things the last week. I don't know why I'm changing voices right now. <laughs> just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent and I'm not in business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you going to pay me what you owe me or I'm going to or am I going to have to toast your ass out of the scrub? No crump. You're seriously about evic evicting me. Huh? Give me time. I just need some time. I've been waiting on a check you from my publisher. As soon as it arrives, I can pay you. Look, the check is going to be here soon. It's going to be here soon. Just give me until the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care if you got... If you're gonna get some greasy businessman to eat sushi off your body, you're out of time, little China girl. Ha ha. Of course. She's Asian and you call her China. She might be from Japan. Or Korea. Or... There. Yeah. Also... You know, you might be from North Korea. Nah, watch Kim Jong-un bomb your head off. Why did I say that? <laughs> Pay me 500... $500 by the end of the day, or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get back in from when you pay your bills. Um, fuck you. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? I told you to hand over the key. So you want me to just give you my key? Screw you, man. You're not getting my key. What are you gonna do, deadbeat? Just run away from all your problems? How's that been working out for you? I'm out. I don't need this shit. You're an asshole, you know that? Catch you later, old man. Boom. So I guess we have to meet at a Phoenix with Darkift right now. We'll see if he's there. Hey! Hey, Abby. What's going on, girl? I'm good, Bellinger. Hanging around like usual, I see. I got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. That dick of a landlord that dick of a landlord wants me wants five hundred dollars for rent. And he wanted me to hand over my key. I just screwed and run out of him, though. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this where in the heroes figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off. Or you could try and get all oh, six. Oh, yeah, like 60 of them, like me. Bellinger gave you Bob Claw the Elder. Thanks, Bill. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. Which I think is the only shirt you have. What's here? You found Indie Heroes figure number 23. Gladiator. Devil's Drop. Okay. There's a rat there. Mm. So we were supposed to go to Phoenix, right? Empire Pub. Grocery store. We can't go there because it's locked somehow. And here's the phoenix. Um, there should always there should be something we might be looking for in here. 
Eh, let's go to our guy here, our main man. I have a lot of good memories here at Phoenix. Dark Fifth, Dark Fifth should be waiting for me inside. Get to work. Interesting club music. Whoa, lady. We ain't open yet. Excuse me. I said we're closed, woman. We're expanding a crew. Where's that fit? Look, I'm working here today. Is Dark Fit around? You're the ditz that everyone's been waiting on then? Dark Fit's in, Dark Fit's in the main room, so I'll get my ass over there if I, if I were you. I'll just stand here and watch you from behind. Perv. Of course. Here's Dakfit. And the dead rises. You're late here. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? No. He let me in. He led me right through. Some bouncer he is. How have you been? You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I slip since I split with Viper. I don't know how well it's going to go without her. I know what you mean. Now day goes by where I don't wonder how different my life would be if she hadn't left so suddenly. So if you didn't get the gist, the gist, uh, I, fuck, I fucking hate myself now. It's simple. Magdalene left Abby. <clears throat> Jesus. You want this shit again? Look, Magdalene left you what? A year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? You're right. It's just not that easy for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but life's been kind of shitty for me ever since she left. How long are you gonna blame her for everything? Seriously, you gotta take some responsibility. Remember, she left you because of what you did. You know what? Fuck you! Not all of us are happy to be rid of our exes. Not all of us date self destructive junkies. Not cool, man. All I'm saying is that since I've loved Viper, I'm realizing how it's the choices we make that define us. I'm worried about the choices I've made. Totally. Am I terrified that my muse has been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made a choice, man. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. Not everyone, man. It's not like my fans prefer when my sound's all fucked up. Part of me thinks they're right. They're wrong. Never does drugs... Never did drugs made anything sound better. Well, unless you count some black rocker guy, but fuck it. Nope. That's nonsense. Everyone's just scared of change. Your manager, your manager makes a makes a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it, but you haven't heard me since I kicked the stuff. I'm just nervous, so I kind of wish I had some to calm my nerves. Oh, my burden to bear. Here's the layout of the equipment. Try to fall exactly. That's enough to worry about tonight. Since you're slipped in, we don't have any time to redo anything. To make sure you're getting right the first time. So here's where I'm gonna need a pen and a paper. Cause I'm a fucking moron. So I have keyboards. Next to drums. Then we have a microphone. Then I get some bass. And then a guitar. Good. The gear is in the box this year. All I gotta do is put the right stuff on the stage in the right place according to the layout. Seriously, a monkey could do this job. So you better not mess it up. Get it done perfectly, and I give you, and I'll give you one hundred dollars. Okay? I'll do my best, Captain. I'll head backstage and work the spotlights for you. What he means with the spotlights is he's gonna tell us where to put them. Okay, perfect. You pick up drums. So you have to be in the spotlight to like put equipment there. Set up the equipment here, of course. I think that's how it works. Can we build it? Yes, we can. We have the technology. You pick a base. I I'm not sure if the base should be here or the other part, but set up the equipment here. Yes. I hope I put that together right. Why did that sound like she was like banging something with a hammer? You pick up keyboard. Of course I did. How well does a keyboard sound next to drums? I don't know. Set up equipment here. I feel like she's using a hammer when doing that. I'm working up a sweat here. 
and here's Viper, that crazy chick. Oh yeah, hey, hey, Abby, come give me a hug. Viper, what are you doing here? I thought you and Dark have split. You sure he's cool with you hanging around here before a show? Trust me, if I know Dark fit, he's missing me like crazy right now. He probably already told you so, hasn't he? No, he hasn't. He hasn't said a word about it, to be frank. I hate to break it to you, but I think you two are splits, splits view for good this time. I always knew, I always know when you're lying, Abby. I always know when my baby's super nervous, which is why I brought him a present. It's a bag, it's a bag of heroin. <laughs> Look at the options. Are you crazy? Which is wrong my option. Thank God you did. What the fuck? Are you crazy? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Doc has been doing so well. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing the needle in his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy and he doesn't need you. Need you making his decisions for him. If he's nervous about the show and this helps calm him down, then who are we to get in this in his way? Of course, if he hasn't been to rehab, if you're gonna give him a bag of heroin, heroin, that's the problem. <laughs> you're gonna kill him. <laughs> which I can which I think he'll do. Get a who just get who just get it from someone else otherwise? Get the fuck out of You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie. Darkman left you for a reason. What don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself, Abby. Since they're women's women, they can do it. <laughs> okay, now I'm just turning a serious what I think is a serious challenge to something fucked. You don't know the first thing about Darkman. What he needs or what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about love. Good luck with her. Good luck with the, sh the fucking show. If my baby bombed, it's all your fault. What a psycho. Pick up the heroin. Yeah. Pick up the heroin. No sense living this lane around. Just make sure there's no cops around. You pick up the guitar. Which, by the way, the layout is weird. Like where, the, where he puts the spotlights on. Because this better be a goddamn show. You see, they look the same. How the fuck should I know which one is which. So how much can we get from this? I think we'll get the $100, yeah. 100 isn't much, but it should be enough. We still have 500 to go. Connect cable A to- wait, that's not right. Well, that's good. That's about as good as it's going to get, I guess. Yeah, me too. Here comes the- here comes the outfit. Well, how'd it go? Take a look for yourself. I don't like those question marks. Damn fine work. So rare that I get to walk on stage with everything just the way I like it. Seriously, kudos to you. Here's the $100 I promised you. You earned every penny of it. Yay, I have $100. Thanks, man. I need help with this show. I can always count on you. Benny said, Benny said Viper sung by Erla. Do you talk to her at all? Was she looking for me? Yeah, she was. She did. Yeah, she did stop by. Really, she didn't leave any here, did she? Actually, no. She just left. <laughs> no, she just left. Not going to talk about the bag of heroin. <laughs> no, she just showed up looking for you and then left. When she saw that weren't, you weren't here. Huh? Alright then. Well, I guess I gotta go get ready for the show. Feel free, feel free to come back to the club a little later if you're interested in working. Go check. We're short staffed and could use you. Just talk to Benny at the door when you're ready to get started. Hey, Abby, you're a good friend. Guess that's today's work. I might have made a right call with Dark. Darkfit. He's been really there for me this past year. You know what? This reminds me. If we got our items, we have a bag of heroin. What are we gonna do with it? About a gram or two of pure heroin. Which is never pure heroin. It's either... Fuck knows what. It should be... It can also be flour. Or chalk. Or chalk. Dust. Fuck knows. Fending some... First server show. You can do this. You don't need it. You're only here or anything. He's fucked. That's for sure. Oh, hi, Abby. Just getting myself psyched for the show. I'm so nervous. But I know I got this in the bag. I think we're going to blow it out of the water this time. 
Nothing's holding me back and I don't care what Viper, my manager or my fans have to say about it. That's great. I'm the crazy here and you've been with me through it all. I'm here to do the same for you. Whatever you need to knock it out of the park, just let me know. I'm not gonna check the bad rooms. They're there, so... I wonder, can I play one of those? Let's see, what happens if I walk through it? Nothing. I guess I should work in the code thing. Yo, Benny. Have fun working while I sit here and flex my big 22 inches pythons. Fuck you. Okay, so I need to get out of here. What's a strange night? I still can't believe Viper showed up like that. Maybe I should stick around for the concert and help with the code check. But again, Mr. One did ask me for my help. I suppose seeing what she would need would be worthwhile. Even if I'm more than late. Eh, eh. I kind of found no reason to go back to her. Because she already finished her job. Let's get back and do the coaching. The decoding. Oh, look who's back. I really hope you did a good job setting up for the show tonight. A good show means more horny ladies for me to share my secret sausage with. This sounds awful. <laughs> so I guess you still want to take over the coaching tonight. You ready to get started? Yes. Sure, man. Let's do this. The folks will be coming in and your job is to hang your damn jackets up. When you do that, you'll give them a ticket for the retrieval later. You only get paid in tips, so try to avoid wasting everyone's time by remembering where you sort each code. Also, try not to be the total jackass you usually are. People don't like tipping jackasses. Lastly, don't you even think about stealing from people's pockets. There's no security back there. If I find out you're a thief, I'll throw you out on your damn ass. Alright, now let's get to back to work. I gotta walk up to them and talk. Let's see. They finally descend. I thought you were gonna make us wait out there. It's worth wait. I'll go hang your clothes. Your photo. Your ticket number is 65. Put it here. Nice music. Can I pickpocket? Yeah. Five dollars. Uh, I was so much time in this line. I didn't even have time to score my any happy pills for the show. Eh, uh, happy pills. Oh no, they're referring to LSD now. I think. Uh, you'll find something. You'll take a number 66. Oh, they don't leave until you hung up your clothes. The coats. Oh well. The fuck who's this guy? Do that! Coaches are like valid for clothes. So true, bro. I like you have your jacket. It's a number 65, 67. I like to put them in, or, in order. But at some point I kind of forget the order and then I'm just spamming. The A button, see which one is which. Oh, fuck you. There you are, deadbeat. I thought you skipped out on me. You better come see me after the show. And you better have my money. Remember, if I don't have $500 before you come home, you'll be sitting on the street like the scum you are. What kind of music is this anyway? Because they are so damn weird. I'm gonna stick around a bit and make sure you don't bail. Yeah, yeah, old man. Take a numbers. 68. I wanna like steal that guy. Because the owner was an asshole. Once he was close. Whoa, you dead. That's a little too intense for me right now. Think you could grab me my spot utility vest, Lady Coldvout? My ticket number is. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, that's my jacket. Pickpocket the old man. Oh, fuck. He has no money. I mean, he's a landlord. Fuck him. He doesn't have money. Whoa. You've been here all night. Any fine hun hun honeys walking through here yet? You're actually a nice looking piece yourself. I'm done to get down if you know what I mean. They're all waiting, bro. Right, ticket number 69. Of course, the whoring guy is 69. I can steal for all of them, but he'll find out and then kick my ass. There's one guy I want to steal from in the future. Bum, 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 bum. 
If true love is a void of superficiality, but all attraction is based on it, then how do you explain love at first sight? I, uh, I'll let you figure that one out. Your ticket number is 17. Yeah, that guy's pretty interesting. He also appears later in the game, so I don't know what, what role since I didn't finish the game myself. Ugh. Oh, fuck you, Viper. Hey, Abby. What's shaking? Working hard, I see. Viper, you should know that Dark Fitz didn't get your little gift. Whether he wants to see you or not, that'll be his call. What did you do, Abby? I swear you live to piss me off sometimes. Just give me your damn code already. You're taking number 71. Uh, I don't like it. It's not in order. Now I might... OCD is kind of fucked. There's no sandwiches in there. Give me my call back. Somebody's my ticket. Take this. Well, take this, won't you? It's also a good time to invest in a sandwich. There's a sandwich market, by the way. Um, thanks. No, oh, you... Well, I left you without money, so screw you, guy. This one is awful, and my ears are ringing. I'll be waiting for you at the apartment, and beg, borrow, or steal, you better have my cash. My ticket number is okay. Oh, fuck you. See you later, dead bit. <laughs> I, think you have, I think there's a reason why voice actors always have... <coughs> ...problem with their voices. It always gets like this tense. Oh. Oh man, I'm gonna dance until my feet give out. We're gonna burn up the floor tonight, babe. You go, girl. You go, girl. Hell. Whoa, here's your ticket. 72. This is sort of the mini game that doesn't end quickly. Hey, I've seen my girlfriend pass right through. She's real pretty. I think she might be here. Go find out. Hey, good luck, buddy. Your code ticket is 73. 73. Oh, fuck. My OCD is fucked. Well, we can always wait. The music is Oh, this is the guy I want to steal from. Well, hey there, fellow cool person. I heard that this place I was a cool hangout and possibly a good place to buy some sweet illegal drugs are you a cop is the bug answers are you a cop what that's crazy no i'm just an average cool sir like yourself looking to score some sweet illegal drugs no cops your fellow coolian well, all right then your ticket number is 75 and i'm gonna do I'm, i can't steal from him Ouch, ouch, ouch. I just stood in my angle thanks to that stupid heel. I'm never gonna dance again. Please just get my code. My number is 72. I wanna steal from the cop. Oh, fuck you. You're the guy with a 69. Can't leave until Bane's second go. Of course. Hey, do you see that girl Olympic out here? Hurry and get my code so I can catch. Someone's gonna hoe her off her feet if you know what I mean. Just. Okay, yeah. Still got my condoms in it. So I gather 70 from the invest from the investigating jacket and collecting department. Time to cut my tips and check out the concert. They left me nine uh, uh, 19 tips. I pickpocket two times. Looks like a total donation of 17. Dark F. Sing. The lightning effects are making us. The lightning effects are kind of fucking with my recording right now. Oh, hey, Abby. You must be here for 20 bucks, I believe. Rock on. So, how many mines do I have? Well, I have 220. Okay, how are you, girl? What can I get for you, babe? Nothing, honestly. Boom. I'm so nervous for my baby. Good thing I got I took my medicine. He can't live without me. I'm his medicine and he's mine. This is the cop guy. 
Can I like turn her in? Fellow cool person. I'm still looking for to score some to score some sweet little drugs. The only other cool person? Well, I guess there's not much to this concert. These people all have random lines of dialogue and the most interesting line. You know how that Doc Will had the problem with how his music is gonna style now that he's off drugs in Split Viper. Nobody puts Stevie's rev style in the corner. No, it wasn't this guy. Darth has never sounded better. This was her. La la la, okay. Darth Vader, over here, Darth Vader knows me, please, I'm your biggest fan. My face is melted from the sweet rock and roll, baby fate. This concert skins ass. I love this new age crap. <laughs> Hipster music rules. Dance with me, baby. I have to agree. Hipster music really rules. As someone that is into it myself. Hmm, my god. Can I like, leave the concert? Well, there's nothing else you can do here. Yeah. <laughs> and Benny can't really kick me because I only saw two times. It's getting pretty late and I'm a bit... I should count my pennies and see if I can get my rent paid. Between the 225, 27, I've got my wallet and the 30 stored in my bank, I, I've got a total, grand total of 240. I'll be able to pay rent. That's not enough to get back in my bed. Maybe I can scrooge get a few more bucks. But also I'll be sleeping under stars tonight. I better go and find a comfy street mattress. Okay, before we go to sleep or end everything here, I just want to talk to this guy. Oh no, I don't have any change for you. Piss off, buddy. This is the guy with the sandwiches. Like real the man. Hey there, pretty lady. Got a second to invest in a sandwich? I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. Haven't I haven't eaten eaten it in at least seven days. Give yeah, sandwich. Here I go, pal. A first sandwich and a house. Hey, thanks a lot. If our minds are constantly working themselves with every new experience, are you the same person I started asking this question to? Yeah, I guess this happens sometimes from people. The Golden Arcade. Hmm. Here, let's find some information from Belly Linger. Hey girl, what's new? It's been a long day, Bellinger. I'm beaten heading to bed. Where that may be this evening. Hey, if you can't get back into your apartment, I'm sure you can always find a dirty mattress somewhere in the city. That is, if you can find one. Gas leaked to the east moved a bunch of the local vagabonds over to our south town. They seem nice enough, but I doubt any of them are likely to share the squatting spot. Okay, you know what? Let's... Hmm... Sell something. Empire's Pub. Can we go in it? Uh, no. I'm not gonna go in it. The ATM can make take your money. Let's go to the market. You here to buy some meat or what? Uh huh. This is things you can cook. Yeah, I should show cooking as well, so... I'm gonna buy one of these. Can I interest you in any flowers or produce steak? No. Even though they're nice. Did you find everything you're looking for? Uh... You have a lot of things you can eat here. We're gonna buy one dog treat. For the next episode. And let's sell our heroin. And <laughs> you can't sell heroin, that's the problem. Um... You can sell these things, or you can collect them. I don't know what happens if you like sell or collect them. Anyway, let's sh let me show you cooking for now, and then we'll find a place where we can like, sleep. You best not be looking to sleep in my bed. I'll punch you all over and steal all your bread. Ha! That rhymes. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, it's the voice. Cook something here. Yes, you can cook a beef steak. Grill this up good and nice. Smell like bacon, but tastes like wood. You cook up some meat. So most of these places will have people there that won't let you sleep on your stores. Also, uh, interesting thing. Woof, woof. Hey there, little doggy. How are you doing, girl? It's a girl. Hmm. I brought some food. Whoa. 
That's a girl. Just come a bit closer. Give dog food. Munch, munch. And looks like the dog dropped something. Pick it up. Look at that locket the dog was wearing fell off. Pick up the dog's locket. Let's make a few more bucks somehow. Can we make it though at this point? I don't think we can. Well, I'll just save here and next time we'll go to sleep. Now, you know what? Let's just go on to the next day. It's kind of dangerous in the sanitary. Should I sleep here tonight? No, stay awake. No way. I'm sleeping on that thing. Maybe the guy can forgive us. Nice. That's nice. We can go back into the apartment hallway. So you like to borrow her now, I guess. Look through keyhole. May as well take a look. Well, this is not something you will see every day. Yeah, good thing. Is Mr. Rap Tuvian's dirty old tool bucket? Looks like it's full of trash. Stupid landlord thinking it vacuumed me, huh? Well, I still have my key. Money like Ox Morning Smartest. Open Sesame! What the? My key is not working. That's time to change the lock. It happens so much. <laughs> That's the worst part when the lock is changing your last one to know. Like, Enrique Iglesias, Enrique Iglesias can guarantee for that. No mail for me today. I only have 260 in my wallet. Yeah, I negotiate. Okay, I had to take out a little broke. This is my trouble starting. What do you want? I managed to scrap together 260. Do you think it will be enough so I don't have to sleep on the street tonight? You know what? I'm feeling nice today. So I will totally accept 200. That's great. Thank you so much. I mean, I said I would. Just one small problem. Problem? What's that? I'm going to also need a $500, $5,000 security deposit to cover the cost of changing the locket. What? Are you out of your mind? Look that beat. That's the new deal. Think you're all smart and actually have a choice in life? But think y'all think I'm I'll just skip skip town and not pay my rent. Don't let the jokes on you now. You can't do this to me. I can and I am. See around that beat. What just happened? Maybe I should have just given him my key when I had the chance. Yeah. This is the thing where your decisions count. It's kind of dangerous and sanitary. Should I sleep in here tonight? Sleep outside. Well, hopefully I won't die in my sleep. You won't. It will come with time for that, but you won't right now. Mm -hmm. Black screen. And I'm doing this for like 40 minutes. Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm gonna stop right now, get a drink, and film one last episode for today, and then be over for now. Thanks for watching.